Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, president of Stevens Institute of Technology, and I'm very happy to tell you about some of the most exciting developments of the past few months at Stevens. But the first highlight that I'd like to share with you is an incredible success. Our men's volleyball team received the NCAA Division III National Championship, an event that brought hundreds of students to the Canavan Arena. It created a tremendous amount of excitement on campus and a lot of positive publicity off campus. Our other student athletes continue to do very well, and we've had tremendous successes in women's swimming and also in track and field. We also celebrated the accomplishments of our alumni and friends in the third annual awards gala at the Plaza Hotel in New York City. This was another wonderful event that brought 450 friends, alumni, faculty, staff, and students together. We had the opportunity to hear about and celebrate the accomplishments of incredibly successful alumni and friends of the university. We held our Innovation Expo Day, a day-long event that displayed tremendous accomplishments of our students, their senior design projects, of which we had more than 160. We had project plan competitions, an elevator pitch competition that was extremely exciting, brought a number of business people to campus, a number of venture capitalists who were mesmerized by the accomplishments of our students. This was a day that made all of us at Stevens proud. Stevens continues to do extremely well in various rankings, the most important of which is the return on investment ranking conducted by payscale.com. In 2015, our ranking improved from fifth in the nation last year to now third. This accomplishment is generating a significant amount of positive publicity among members of our community, but also it helps the university receive a lot of attention from prospective students and parents. We've had a number of significant speeches on campus by highly accomplished individuals. Perhaps the most uh, noteworthy of those was a lecture by Nobel laureate Dr. Harold Varmus, who gave the fifth lecture in the President's Distinguished Lecture Series. Dr. Varmus was the former director of the National Cancer Institute, and he spoke about the frontiers of cancer research and precision medicine. I'm also excited and grateful to report that our dedicated alumnus and trustee, Frank Semser and his wife, Mary Jane, have generously pledged a significant $5 million gift for the establishment of the Semser Healthcare Innovation Center, an activity that I'm sure will provide additional fuel to the fire of our research program in this extremely important area. I am also thrilled to report that a very close friend of the university, a generous supporter, the former chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Larry Babio, has uh, just informed the university that he will provide a $10 million gift to help the university advance its ambitious agenda for the future. There are a few important events ahead of us in the next few months. Uh, perhaps the most important of these events is commencement. We are combining undergraduate and graduate ceremonies uh, together for one longer commencement and the commencement will be held at the Prudential Center. Another event that I am impatiently looking forward to is our alumni weekend, hoping for a record attendance by alumni, especially from anniversary classes. This year, of course, we'll be celebrating the 50th class reunion of the class of 1965. As you know, we've been involved with the design, construction, and participation in the competition sponsored by the Department of Energy, a solar house, which is called Shore House. This is the entry from Stevens in the 2015 Solar Decathlon competition. We are very excited about what our students have designed and look forward to the final stages of competition in Irvine, California. So I'm getting close to the end of my fourth year at Stevens Institute of Technology as president. This experience has been a most enjoyable ride. Uh, serving Stevens has been an honor and a privilege, and uh, I remain convinced, in fact, more convinced than ever before, that Stevens is a gem of an institution, and the future for this university is brighter than ever before. I look forward to visiting you again next fall. I invite all of you to uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much, and please follow me on my Facebook, and go to Twitter and follow me on Twitter.